For this video, I'd like to talk about function domain word problems. And for these problems, let's just jump right in and we'll develop a strategy along the way. So we have that Aiden is a spice trader. He sells any amount of cumin seeds for one kilogram to 1,000 kilograms. And he charges $5 for one kilogram and $2,000 for 1,000 kilograms. So P of W models the price in dollars of W kilograms of cumin seeds in Aiden shop. And the first thing we need to figure out is which number type is the most appropriate for this domain. And then what is that domain? So with most word problems, if we're using letters, my advice is to first write down what do those letters mean? So we have W and we have P of W. And they tell us exactly what those are. So P of W models the price, and that's going to be in dollars. So that's price, and I do like to write the units. And writing the units just helps make sense of the information. It helps you determine which one is your function value and which one is your independent vari variable value. So W in this case, we have W kilograms of cumin seeds. So W seems to be the weight of cumin seeds. And again, notice the unit that is in kilograms. So which number type is more appropriate for the domain? Well, the domain deals with the inside letter. So in this case, we have P of W. So our domain is going to be dealing with W, the weight of the cumin seeds. And so what number type would be more appropriate? Well, you need to understand what an integer is and what a real number is. So integers are just whole numbers, but they also include the negatives. And these go in both directions forever, since there's an infinite amount of integers. Real numbers, however, include all fractions and decimals. So that is essentially any number on the number line. And that includes irrational numbers like pi or the square root of 2. So basically what this question is asking is for this domain, this idea of weight, does it have to be in whole numbers or can it be any type of decimal? And so when you're weighing something at the grocery store, you might notice that more often than not, it's going to be some type of decimal rather than a whole number. And frankly speaking, even if it did get a whole number when you weighed it, Honestly, there's a lot of rounding going on. It would be, in theory, impossible to have maybe 1.0 repeating pounds of cumin. There's always going to be some slight variation in the weight. So the weight of something, that's going to be a real number. That has to be some type of decimal. And for this idea of integers, this would come up, like let's say maybe Aiden is climbing steps or stairs. And he's never going to be halfway through a step. He's either going to be on step 5 or step 6. There is no step 5.5. So in that case, it would be integers for the appropriate domain. But when you can have decimals, the answer for this first part would be real numbers. So something like time would also be an example of a real number for the domain. Since you can have some fraction of a second. You can have 2.2 seconds. Time does not go from two seconds to three seconds, skipping everything in between. You do have fractions of a second. You can see that with a stopwatch. So with this in mind, now we answer the second question, what is the appropriate domain? So for our cumin seeds, domain is always just going to be the smallest value of W, and it's going to go to the highest value. So... The weight of cumin seeds, notice, goes from 1 kilogram to 1,000 kilograms. Whereas the money, remember that's the price, that's our dependent variable, that's our function variable, that would be the range. So it's not going to be from $5 to $2,000 because that's dealing with the price value, and we want to deal with the domain, the weight of cumin seeds, and that goes from 1 kilogram to 1,000. So choice letter A would be the correct answer here. So with this strategy in mind of just writing down what the letters represent and then slowly thinking through the information, let's start working on some other problems. So let me scroll over. And in this one, 
we have the altitude at which we boil an egg affects how long it takes for the egg to achieve perfect hardness. It takes 198 seconds to boil a perfect egg at the lowest place possible, the edge of the Dead Sea, which has an altitude of minus 418 meters. And the highest place possible is the summit of Mount Everest, which has an altitude of 8,848 meters. It takes 209 seconds to boil a perfect egg there. So T of A models the time in seconds it takes to boil a perfect egg at an altitude of A meters. So we have A and T of A. So let's write those down. So A is the altitude. And often the letters go with the concept. Not always, but in most of these problems, the letter will be related to the concept. Though be careful of just generalizing that for all problems because some problems will use different letters that may not be related to the concept. So A in this case is the altitude, and that's going to be in meters. So some type of height above sea level. And then T of A is the time in seconds it takes to boil that egg. So T for time and the units for that will be in seconds. And again, the units, writing those down just helps keep everything organized. So if you see meters, you wanna think that's your independent variable, that's your domain, since the domain deals with the inside letter. So for our question, which number type is more appropriate for this domain? And we're dealing with altitude, which is in meters, which is a physical height. And with height, that could be any kind of decimal you can have 2.1 meters above the ground. And in fact, when moving up in that height, we don't skip from one to two. We have every value between one and two meters. And you can see that when you look at a tape measure or something like that. So in this case, we have real numbers. We, our domain is not skipping from one whole number to the next. And when deciding what our appropriate domain is, we wanna see what is the lowest height and what is the highest place and for our domain we're looking for meters here so a is in meters and when we look at our information it takes 198 seconds to boil it at the lowest possible place but that is minus 418 meters that's the edge of the dead sea and the highest place is on mount everest and that has an added altitude of 8,848 meters. So the lowest place is this minus 418, and the highest place is this 8,848. The numbers involving 198 and 209, that's in terms of time. That's how many seconds it takes to boil at those different altitudes. But time is our range. That's our function values. So that doesn't deal with our domain. So if you see those in here, you can immediately just eliminate those.